Tea is an aromatic beverage prepared by pouring boiling water over the cured or fresh leaves of Camellia sinensis, an evergreen shrub native to East Asia, which probably originated in southwest China and northern Myanmar. After water, tea is the most widely consumed drink in the world. As for her mum, tea fixed everything. Have a cold? Have some tea. Broken bones? There's a tea for that too. Somewhere in her mother's pantry, Laura suspected there was a box of tea that said, in case of Armageddon, <laughs> steep. Three to five minutes. The Chinese Emperor Shen Nung is said to have invented tea in 2736. BCE, when leaves from a nearby bush were carried on a breeze and alighted on a pan of water that was being boiled by his servant. Tea plants and cultivation techniques were taken from China to India by the British at the height of the Opium Wars. Appropriated land in Assam was given to Britons and other Europeans, provided they agreed to grow tea for the domestic British market. As its price fell, tea became the national drink. Hence its centrality within the discourses of labour relations. Thus, though associated with the growth of empire and the subjugation of its peoples, tea is also a symbol of British working class culture and resistance. We are like tea. And we don't know our own strength until it's hot. <laughs> the great British tea break was one of the defining characteristics of British culture. It was fought for during the Industrial Revolution and persisted in all industries and occupation until Margaret Thatcher's government between 1979 and 1990 systematically undermined the power and influence of the trade union movement. This spelt the beginning of the end of the Great British Tea Break. If this is coffee, please bring me some tea. If this is tea, then please bring me some coffee. Ridiculed by the popular press as an outdated institution that impacted negatively on productivity, it was later shown to have enhanced productivity. According to research by Unilever, workers who drank tea four times a day for six weeks were found to have lower levels of the stress hormone cortisol, making them both more happy and thus more productive. Yet today, less than a quarter of the British workforce enjoys a statutory tea break. If leeches at peaches instead of my blood, then I would be free to drink tea in the mud. Having worked in stressful, in stressful low paid work, work that was characterised by repetitive, repetitive tasks, tasks. We recognise the value of the tea break and see it as something that should be reinstated as a right, not a privilege, a privilege that may be withdrawn at the discretion of a penny-pinching manager. Whether your concern is mental health, labour rights, well-being or the simple pleasure of having a laugh with one's mates, we implore you to stand with us. Stand up for the great British tea break. Yes, that's it, says the hatter. And now it's time for tea. Please form an orderly queue.